Okay. So, how would we um, test this? How would we show that um, the customer is actually being assigned a purchase amount? So, there's a. I'm gonna uh, teach you guys a pretty neat trick here in Simio. Um, it's called a, a status label. Uh, basically, the status label can show you real-time information as the uh, as the model as the simulation is running. So to create a status label, we go to the animation tab up here, hit status label, and you can drag it anywhere you want in your on the screen. So I'm gonna drag it here, click it again. So right now the status label has a value of zero because that's the default value. So in order to display the you know the information we want, we have to input the expression here on the right hand side. So you know you're gonna we want to see the model entity's you know purchase amount, right? So simply uh, type in model entity dot. Did I, did I spell that correctly? <laughs> All right, so this is model entity dot uh, purchase amount. Okay, so now let's hit. Uh, let's run this um, simulation model by uh, step by step. So, oh, there's already an error. So right now you can see that this error is complaining about the status label and it's complaining about the uh, expression. So I basically, I, I know what the error is and um, the reason why I created this error is just to show you guys that note that we are currently in the model level, correct? So the status label can only show um, state assignments in the in the model level and this expression here is um, you know it's in the model entity level not the model level so that's the reason why you know you can't display the the information so in order to you know display the the information we would have to create a a, a model state assignment so to do that, you know, uh, simply click model and then go to definitions just like before. Go to states and now create a new state assignment. Um, just exactly like before. Uh, it's going to be a real. Oh, sorry, it's in run mode, so we need to stop the model first before we do anything, before we can make any changes. So click real. Uh, rename this to. I'm going to rename it to uh, name it G for global just uh, for really uh, for better distinction and we're gonna call this purchase amount okay so like I mentioned before once you create a, a state the the default value is zero so we need to assign this um, this state a value in the model so go back to the facility tab so just like before, um, we want to assign that global purchase amount right before the customer enters um, enters the the cash uh, the ca the cashier server. So we go we'll click cashier, go to the right under state assignment, row. Okay. So that global purchase amount. It would only make sense to, you know, assign that value after after the model entity is assigned its own value. So, uh, just let me do this, and I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll make sense to you guys. So, the state value, the state variable that we want um, to to assign the value to is the global purchase amount, and we want to. Uh, we want this to be a placeholder for the the purchase um, amount that was assigned to the model entity um, in the previous. 
So the way the state assignment works is it works, it assigns the value for the top one first, then the second one. So once we assign um, the purchase amount to each and every um, entity, this global um, state would take the same value um, that the entity was given. So we're gonna the new value is model entity dot purchase amount. Okay. So I hope that kind of makes sense to you. Um, I think w when I run the model, you guys can see um, y what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's close this for now. So, uh, let's try to run this again step by step. Oh, again, the error. Okay, so I forgot to change the expression. So let's do that real quick. So I'm gonna hit stop, hit the status label. Um, correct this expression. So it's global purchase amount and not model entity purchase amount. All right, so check. So let's play this real quick. So as you can see, there's no error. Um, okay, did I, I probably mistyped something here. Oh, okay, <laughs> just kidding. So yeah, as you can see, I misspelled the expression, so. There you go. So you can see the status label um, changed back to zero because the default value of the global purchase amount is zero. So let's hit, uh, let's run this step by step again. Step. Um, you know the uh, customer comes in, goes to cashier. And there you go. Uh, the purchase amount it assigned a purchase amount of six point five to this um, entity here. All right, let's go for the next, let's check the next um, customer entity. Oh, why is it lagging? All right, let's change the speed a little bit. All right, so we have a new customer. Step, there you go, there's a new value. As you can see, each customer is getting a new value. All right, so just to make sure that each customer is getting a different uh, value, I'm going to uh, create two entities coming in at once. So at the source, change the ent entities per arrival to two. I'm going to you know, I want to, so I'm going to see um, the purchase amount value for the customer that comes into ca to the cashier and also um, the customer purchase amount that exits the system. So to do that, um, we need to make another state, state assignment for the, for, um, for when the customer exits. So go to definitions. Create a new reel, call this um, purchase amount exited. And just like before, we want it to assign the state assignment before they exit or after they exit. So uh, click the sync, go to state assignments, add, uh, select the state assignment that you want to assign the value to. So choose purchase amount exited. And also we want to look at the model entity that enters um, the sync. Oh, ah, I said sync and I typed sync. <laughs> 
Okay. So now we need a status label for that. So go to animation, hit status label, drag that onto your screen, then give it the expression. So that's called purchase amount exited. Okay. So let's hit this. Let's run this step by step real quick. So we have two um, two customers coming in. First one goes to the cashier and has a a value of six point five. So remember that value. The next one, the next customer has a value of five point six. So remember the first customer is going to exit right now, and as you can see. It's that's it's the same customer because it has the value of 6.5, and then the second one, 5.62. So um, I know this uh, tutorial was a little bit long, but you know, I hope you guys um, you know understand states a little bit better. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, feel feel free to um, email me, and I'll put my email in the, the in the description below all right thanks guys